he explodes, he transforms, and then he just goes ham. Check this crap out, man. He's like just insane. I <laughs> This is a build I really wasn't ecstatic about, but after playing it, this is pretty dope. We're going to go into the details. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you want more build guys or there's something that you're looking for. Let your boy know and we'll get into it. Hey guys, welcome. All right, so I know that Minions got a huge buff in Undecember, uh, especially in the Origin season. They brought up in, in this game, they brought up um, a whole new skill tree specifically for Rune Knights, right? So you've got these crazy um, uh, Minion builds that you can do now. So I've been piddling around um, with the build. It's not perfected by any means, but I kind of want to showcase to you guys exactly what this daggone Minion build looks like you know in the earlier stages i haven't beat i haven't beat the 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 main story for act 13 um i'm just going through and i'm digging into some of the uh some of the things i wanted to see with this skill dead so um i stumbled across i got the summon wrath rune knight and uh, i've got a summon javelin abyssing abyssling which well, i don't know what happened but i got six links on it so what we're doing is well, i'm honestly just running the javelin uh minion and then the wrath rune knight so the wrath rune knight what what is doing okay is depending on which uh, abyssling it consumes whether it's the melee one or the javelin one it's going to get a, a different one so you've got wrathful which is the uh the melee and then you've got the fury abyss which is the the one that actually has uh range when it consumes a javelin abyssling so these it, it has two different forms it can take and it's up to you to decide which form you want it to take the melee one is really cool i'll show you each one that i can i'll show you both of them um it's crazy though because i haven't put a lot of energy into it um i've got some runes i'm running the uh hazy melody which allows it to either consume or not consume the minions that's how the hazy melody works um and the best thing i've really got on the board is the set the, the the rune knight i've got to level 30 there's a point on the skill tree where it gets plus five skill points um and i've got something that's giving me another one and then a quick attack rune on there everything else is kind of like basic okay everything else is basic on here so what I want to do is actually step in to show you guys what this what this thing does, all right? Because it's very, very interesting. So what you want to do is you're going to summon your Rune Knight. And we're, let's run up on some enemies here. You'll see the Rune Knight's there. He's going to fight. He's going to fight. And he deals okay damage, okay? So now we're going to summon a Javelin Abyssly. And we're going to watch because the melody is, uh, is uh, going to be... Uh, the low tone, he won't absorb the bizzling, uh, the abyssling in low tone. You'll see, he won't absorb it. But if we switch to high tone, you see how that line goes? Now he's a, he summons it, he explodes, and he turns into this crazy, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Fury Abyss Knight. And where he's the Fury Abyss Knight, he has a javelin, he throws, he has these huge AoEs, he throws down all these spears from the sky. And it's just, it's insane as to what it what it can do. So let's just say, all right, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and summon our Rune Knight again. And I want to show you guys the melee version of it as well. So we're going to run over here real quick and we're going to look at the melee. So again, we've got it. We've got the Hazy Melody in high tone. When it's in high tone, he absorbs the Abyssling. And like I say, there's two different physical Abysslings. So depending on which one he absorbs, that's what we're gonna see out of him. So let's let's throw out the melee one. Watch him immediately absorb it. Now he transforms and he starts doing these AOE melee hits. I mean, and it's it's pretty insane. The big reason why you see these numbers, because I'm only like level 81. I haven't put a lot of stock in anything. I've got some charms on them, but that's about it. But let's roll back to actually looking at, at what happened when the room night awakens basically so let's click this you're gonna see the fusion normally it takes three abyslings to create the fusion but under your skill tree you can make it where he only has to do one and he immediately transform this literally gives him a 100 percent damage amplification um and to me that alone is insane that's why you're seeing numbers that you're seeing for me really not putting too much stock because he's only got uh, 107,000 DPS, basically. He's only at 107,000 DPS. But by by him transforming, you putting those skill points into that and making him look at uh, like this huge, amazing beast that just pummels everything on the battlefield, the, the Rune Knight becomes amazing. Now, I chose the physical one because there's two different forms he can take. The other ones that you can do, because there's there's the there's like a poison one or a venom one, there's a ice one, there's the lightning one. 
uh, and there's a cold version, and you know they only have the one option that they can consume. Now, if they consume uh, an abyssling that's an element that's not that's not theirs, they still get like an explosion. You can still make the explosion happen, but they don't transform into like the wrathful versions. They don't they don't explode in DPS. So again. The minions are a little slow to kick off, and you do have to get some leveling there. But once you get it there, the potential in this in this build is is crazy, and it's actually really fun to watch. I don't. The one thing I don't like about the Abyslings is literally the fact that they aren't they aren't uh, forever, right? They have a timer. Your Abyslings have a timer. Your Rune Knight lasts until he dies, so you want to pump this guy with as much HP, HP amplification, anything you can do. Now, uh, let me fall back on this, because I want to show you guys a, piece, a couple pieces of gear that I was like, eh, let's see what this does. I've got Moon's Orbit, which dropped at 340% minion damage, uh, minion critical rate, minion element penetration, and minion damage amplification, and a chance for the minion to deal double damage. Uh, after that, really, the only things I have is like for the Abysslings, um, Abysslings explode, uh, this gives me an additional abyssling summon count, and I think the belt is going to give it where I, the, what's cool about this is if I get hit, my abyssling takes some of the damage for me, so it's really, uh, it's really cool how it goes, but I'm going to tell you guys, the summon Wrathful Knights can be really fun to see and watch those in the, the, <laughs> and watch them really explode. I absolutely love it. So, I had honestly been avoiding minion builds in this game. They didn't seem fun. They weren't really exciting but with the season two release in origin um it really pumped up rune knight capabilities it's kind of like a revamp of the rune knight i wasn't aware of this at all but i will tell you guys there are some drawbacks because I, I haven't i haven't really dug into it so i don't really know like what's the best skill i need to be running should i be amping them up more um do i have to go full defense like all these little pieces of the pie because you're I'm not attacking, and I've put everything into my minions. But that Wrath of Rune Knight deals so much AOE damage. Uh, no matter what version that you have, he it, it clears the map pretty quick. Now I haven't fought bosses with it or anything, so there's still some stuff on the table I don't know. But guys, this is a super cool build, and I highly recommend you check it out for sure. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, guys. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Have a have a great day. We'll see you guys on the flip side.